speaking of esports, we're going to get into our next match right now. We are going to see... Ooh, big hearts, big guns, Lil Pack versus Evo Games Aerolink. Oh. Aerolink. You're excited for this, aren't you? I'm pumped to see this. I have not seen Lil Pack play on stream in uh, a hot minute, actually. And I'm, I'm interested to see what he's going to bring against Bayonetta. And uh, I'm actually really interested to see how his super armor frames are going to play into oh, being witch timed. Because I'm not sure if his super armor frames stay activated while he's in witch time. So I want to mm. see if that happens. Survival. Now, uh, Lil Pack. It's interesting when I see both these players next to each other. What? Because whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. 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 No. Hang on. Uh, he did mention that he had a new character that he was working on. Uh, this is to, to cover up some of uh, Lil Mac's poor matchups. So. All right. I, that's interesting. I mean, I mean. I'd like to see where this is going. I mean, on one hand, Ike, Ike does get some, you know some nice follow-ups off of grabs, so it, it it could help out dealing with uh, you know uh, if somebody goes for a lot of witch times. Yeah, but you know what? I'd I'd like to see where this is going. Um, I think it's going to be uh, a, a pretty interesting match, especially with the uh, Aerolink's punish game, and um, just yeah. Well, enough of my uh, single pun that I said twice <laughs> because I thought it didn't get recognized the first time. But uh, going to Dreamland 64 <laughs> for the first game. And um, I think this is an all right neutral pick for both of these guys. We said it before, Ike is uh, a character that loves to kill off the top. But uh, Panetta, of course, uh, appreciates those ceilings as well. Oh, yeah. This is not your melee Dreamland. This is Ooh, tried God. and true from the 64 days. Lil Pack is um, not looking too shabby against Bayonetta so far. It's uh, very early in the match, but uh, he's got a lead at the moment. And uh, yeah, I mean, not too bad so far. Things we're going to see Lil Pack. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Good air dodge, though. Um, Things we're going to see from Lil Pack. Figuring out how to deal with those uh, side B approaches on the ground and figuring out how to deal with wish time. Those are the two things that he really has to do to come out on top because Erlen has been scooping him up pretty consistently with those approaches. Yeah, and he's been doing a pretty good job of DI'ing out of those uh, side B, up B combos. Uh, but I think you said it, uh, the, that witch time is going to be a huge problem for him, especially as much as Aerolink likes to throw out witch time. I've already seen him throw it out four or five times already, and uh, maybe it's only connected once, but that's still been pretty devastating that one time. Could be one of those cases where... Oh, no! But, the, but he has no chance. He's got armor. Uh, but I don't think Lil Pack has a chance there getting back. Stock taken from Aerolink. I, we actually saw that exact same situation uh, last week where Aerolink uh, which time slapses up B, um, but uh, was unable to punish it. He tried to punish it with the back air, but the armor saved him. So that's where I thought that Little Mac would have a lot of advantage uh, is with that smash armor. I think it's more so the offstage game. Uh, it's actually in Alpha Red's videos where you can do this thing with, against characters with poor recovery. Is you just jump off as Bayonetta and you just do uh, the up beat. And uh, it launches them back at such an awkward angle, and they just can't make it back. That's interesting. Um, of course, not to mention, you know, any smash attack out of which time or down air off stage. But Opex, uh, not making it back there either. Not making it back there, but maybe uh, he to hit the stage first. Possibly. I think he did a really good job of living through a lot of Bayonetta's combos. I think he uh, took well over 300% in that match. Um, it's definitely not an easy thing to do against somebody with such a good punish game as everyone. So, I'm kind of hoping that he's going to go Little Mac here, but, uh, doesn't look like he's really thinking about that. I'm calling it! We're seeing Pac-Man! <laughs> We're not going to see Pac-Man. Well? Oh, I mean, we might, though. Kirby Kid whispering into Little, Little Pac's ears. You know, okay, so he's, he's whispering him to, uh, to say this tried and true, and... This is what I thought he should have done in the first place. I think Little Max got uh, some pretty good tools against Bayonetta. Uh, and like I said, specifically, that's super armor. And um, I, FD, obviously, a good kick. And I want to see this kind of game. 
I'm honestly really, really scared to go for a little, little pack because the thing about Lomac is he wants to get in there and he wants to punch stuff. Like, not to dumb it down or anything, but realistically, Lomac just wants to get in there and punch stuff. And what is Aerolink really good at countering? Punching stuff. Punching stuff. I'm already seeing a very early witch time, but not an amazing punish quite yet. But this could be the amazing uh -oh. punch we're Up looking air. for. That's not it. He'll punch out pack. Good air dodge, and he's back, so now he's got a chance to put that KO punch to use. We'll even get a chance, though, to avoid all of Aerolink's <laughs> offense right now. Find a way in. Hey, Aerolink's defense is especially frustrating. So oh! There it is! <laughs> Lil Pack with the first stock! Huge! And I was about to say, Aerolink's defense is sometimes impenetrable. It feels impossible to land hits on sometimes. And did he just counter the, the bullet arts? Exactly. And a lot of That's it. it's almost like a, an autopilot sort of maneuver from a lot of bayonetas is even if you're far away, just use those bullets. Use the bullets because even if your aerial misses, the free damage. Get the free damage. Right? But in Blue Pack's case, free recovery. Yeah. But good for Amerilink though. He had a great punish sequence to go and uh, we'll close out the stock. Percent tied again. But even though those jabs are slow, they rack up so much damage. They're hard to get out of, too. And Lil Pack, look at that. Sorry, Bayonetta's combos sometimes. I look at them and I go, you know, they. I know they must be pretty easy to do. Oh, God. Aerolink was such a good weight there. But now Lil Pack once again with another chance. Never mind. You know, if he hadn't jumped before, he could have maybe gotten the punish. Yeah. He would have been on the ground, I think quick enough to the point where he could have ran yeah. over, but there, trying to go for the down tilt, and Aerolink punishing it perfectly with the witch time. He may have gotten hit by the down tilt in the beginning of that second game. Yeah, and Little Mac's lack of grab game, I think, is the biggest detriment to him against Bayonetta. Exactly. I mean, you just have to be able to grab, you just have to be able to get the grabs if you're Gonna want to get around Bayonetta's witch time, and that's something that Little Mac just really can't do. I'm just telling you, he just wants to punch stuff. And and Bayonetta, for a lack of a better phrase, is saying, come at me, bro. Like, so close. So close. 